Okay, so the wrestling needs a bit of explanation. Each wrestler has an encourager called a Zazul. The wrestling starts with 1,024 wrestlers and heats held in the regions before getting down to the final 64 that compete in the main stadium. Wrestlers who win their way through get different titles. Those who make it through to the 8th stage get called Elephant or Zahn. Winners of the 10th stage are called Aslan or Lion. Now wrestlers can only grab on the robes each other's wearing, so this includes the shoulder area and the bottom half of the uniform. The reason that it's an open shirt is because in the past, once upon a time, they busted a woman competing in the wrestling, thus the uniform change. If after 20 minutes no wrestler has won, a special dice is rolled to give one of the wrestlers an advantageous position over the other. Once this is done and a result is secured, the winner circles around the podium and acknowledges the ruler of the nation. Okay, so time to tell you about the national drink IRAG. It's vodka made from horse milk, and it tastes as bad as it sounds. It's very popular in Mongolia, very intoxicating, and it's the worst hangover I've ever had. So make sure you wash it down with another Mongolian national food, the pasty. Enjoy them together, but enjoy in moderation. Okay, so as you saw when we are at the front of the festival, the national drink here is IRAG which is actually a vodka made with horse milk, fermented horse milk. Well, I thought I'd better get some to give it a try, so let's see how we get on. Normally it has to be drunk within two weeks of being made due to the fermentation process. It kind of goes off after that. Let's see how we get on. Well, it kind of tastes like a combination of sour milk, Eno's, and a hell of a lot of vodka. So let's see how we feel after a bit more, shall we? Here's to you. Cheers. Well, yesterday we went to the opening ceremony, we saw a bit of the wrestling. Today we're out at the horse racing. They race 27, 28 kilometres. It's 11 year old kids on horses. Unlike Western horse racing, where races normally are no longer than 2 kilometres, Mongolian horse races go as far as 27 kilometres long. The length of each race is determined by age class. Up to a thousand horses can participate in any given race, but the jockeys are aged between 5 to 13 years of age. The race can draw anything from 30,000 people up to 70,000 people as spectators and getting a good vantage point is hard. There's a lot of pushing when you get closer to the track, let me tell you.
to say the races are chaotic and that it's a push and shove battle amongst all the people would be a, a mild understatement. We got to see the finish as you saw it for yourself and uh, it's been a great day out of the races. Uh, So join me after the break when we go drinking at a Nazi theme pub and of course we go to a Mongolian heavy metal concert. See you after the break. Come back now. So to finish our Mongolian venture we've been invited out to a party. So we've gone out with some of the locals. We're going out. We've got a keg of beer. We're going to party on and see how we got on. 